Paris, thank you. Now we check back in with Amanda Vinicky, who's joining us live from Bridgeport tonight as part of our In Your Neighborhood series. Amanda. Yeah, Brandis, earlier today we stopped by the Chicago Maritime Museum. And yes, Chicago does have a Maritime Museum. It is actually located in the basement of the Bridgeport Arts Center at 35th Street and that infamous Bubbly Creek. I spent some time with curator Dylan Hoffman and began asking him about the museum's mission. We're about to celebrate our five year anniversary here in Bridgeport. We tell the story of how, how Chicago was founded by the waterways. It's basically the connection between the watersheds of the Great Lakes and the Mississippi River. And so what if people were to come here, what do they learn about? They, they start with that history and move forward. Yeah, they basically learn how Chicago transformed from a muddy marsh into a metropolis that it is today. So a lot of challenges over the years and um, a lot of excitement as well, innovations in engineering um, to keep a uh, sustainable uh, area for a large population. So what are some of the artifacts that people would be able to see in real life that are special? We have a great collection of artifacts. Uh, in particular, we're really excited to share our new mural with visitors uh, this year as we work to reopen. In November, the UBS art collection donated a 20 foot long WPA mural titled The History of Ships. It was attributed to Gustav Dahlstrom and it details shipbuilding from uh, tall masted sailing ships to side pad paddle uh, boats to uh, large passenger boats as well. And the artifact itself is, uh, has its own history, the uh, mural, because it was uh, commissioned in the Lawson School for the WPA, but then it was displayed in the Rookery Building downtown. Reopening. Why were you closed COVID or also a little bit of irony here? Uh, a little bit of both actually. In March of last year, we closed uh, due to the pandemic. And then in May, we sustained a flood uh, that had some structural damage to the building. We've been working to uh, recover ever since, had some drywall reinstalled. They're actually painting the other side of the museum as well, finishing up those final touches. It's given us an opportunity though to uh, redesign some of our exhibits and look forward to new things. When you look to, obviously this is a museum that covers much of Chicago's maritime past. What is Chicago's maritime future? Well, it's exciting. We're working uh, with um, friends of the Chicago River to help clean up Bubbly Creek. And also uh, there are a lot of future plans as far as sustaining a, a population of this size and sustainable waterways. The TARP project with the uh, McCook Reservoir uh, coming live in 2029 to be able to handle um, you know, more storm water and impacts like that. So uh, a lot of uh, future generations can be inspired by the history um, of the Chicago waterways and the maritime history. And what about the future of the Maritime Museum? You said you're celebrating five years here in Bridgeport. The museum has been around longer than that. What does the future look like as Hopefully, uh, the, the surge in cases goes back down, folks get vaccinated, and people are once again really able to come here and enjoy things. We're very excited to bring people back to the museum. Uh, we have a third Friday event that we've been keeping in touch with our community. It's a virtual event every third Friday. We have our rotating speakers talk about different engaging, uh, exciting aspects of maritime history. This month, actually, on April 16th, we have Daniel Gifford. He's an author of uh, The Last Voyage of the Whale Bark, Whaling Bark Progress. He's going to be speaking with Chicago historian Ted Karamansky. So you can get on our website and check that out. Uh, and hopefully soon we'll be returning to live uh, Third Friday events here at the museum. And no relics or artifacts were damaged in the flooding, really just some drywall. Again, the Bridgeport or the Chicago Maritime Museum set to open, they hope, this summer. We talked about all of that with Dylan Hoffman. So thanks to him and back to you guys in the studio. Amanda, thank you.